for Aris Kai, he's asked questions of the whole field. That bell will be a welcome sound for everybody, nobody more than Jimmy Gressier. He's given everything to try and run with that gold and silver medal positions, but he's got to watch out. There's a charge on behind him, led by his teammates, but he's strong. This could be a tough last lap uh, for the young Frenchman, and he might have to just let that gold and silver ease away with Aris Kaya and Jakob Ingebrigtsen. Absolutely, but Jimmy Gressier has the ability to win his first senior medal at European Cross Country Championships and indeed lead his team to gold because as the chasers pass through us, there is now four French men in the top eight spots. They're packing unbelievably well. Just behind them, Brian Fay for Ireland in ninth, and then it's Mayo of Spain. These are the top, rounding out the top ten, but we'll concentrate on the battle up front. Jimmy Gressier looks like he's in distress. Always a signal when an athlete looks behind him this far from home. He's wondering about who's coming to hunt him down in the battle for bronze, and I think he may be resigned that gold and silver could prove beyond him today, but Aris Kaya it's been relentless from the Turk, the defending champion, trying to win his third title. We know that he has such a good record of showing up, no matter the course, no matter the conditions, of getting a medal. But will it be gold or will it be silver? Because Jakob Ingebrigtsen could be in a, about to arrive on the senior stage as a European cross-country champion. We know he's done it before at under-20 level. We know he's killed everyone on the track, no matter the distance. But now, over 10,000 metres over the muck, and the wind and the soft underfoot conditions, he might be about to reign supreme over everyone in Europe. You've got to expect Jakob Ingebrigtsen to make a move. He's not really tried yet. That, for me, that's his first try. Maybe he's testing out uh, how is Aris Kaya, Aris Kaya feeling. Has he got anything left in the tank? Or have I just got to move up a gear and I'll be all right? Uh, Mark Butler informs me the last European to beat Jakob Ingebrigtsen was Philip Ingebrigtsen at the Paris Diamond League uh, in 2019. So it's been a long old time uh, since a European beat Jakob Ingebrigtsen. And I don't think it's going to happen today. It doesn't look like it. Jakob Ingebrigtsen is well on his way to victory here as he rounds up here. It looks like Jakob Ingebrigtsen is putting this race to bed. He is on his way as he rounds that turn. He has got a 10, 15 meter advantage. This is the muckiest, the trickiest section of this course. He'll be probably careful here just to make sure he doesn't lose his footing at any point because it looks like, it looks like that's the only thing that might stop Jakob Ingebrigtsen at this stage. He's pulling out an advantage. We haven't seen him race since the Norwegian champs over 1500 meters back in September. He won that, of course, with ease. But here he is again, first race back. We wondered about his fitness, but it looks in fine fettle right now because he is tearing this field apart. He saved it all for the last lap but now that he's injected this pace it looks like Aris Kaya and Jimmy Gressier back in third have nothing left to answer it really does look like he he was just biding his time we spoke we said maybe he'd use those same tactics he employed in Lisbon with a big last lap but whatever he's done today Jakob Ingebrigtsen it's very impressive and just shows his prowess over any surface See Aris Kaya, they're working hard. He's looking behind, but I don't think he's got anything to fear from Jimmy Gressier. I think Jimmy Gressier has got to dig incredibly deep uh, to hold on to that bronze medal. There's a whole pack behind him chasing and helping each other to, to... They'll be motivated by team points, but at some point they might realise there's a bronze medal up for grabs. But not a gold medal. That is on its way to Norway with Jakob Ingebrigtsen. Absolutely, I think France might get that gold. Norway will pack well as well, but we'll see how the team medals shake up in a while. But this is all about the individual race right now and the individual brilliance of Jakob Ingebrigtsen. You can see the amount of fans lying in the course. No one has left the course here in Chancery. This is the man so many had come from all over Ireland and indeed abroad to see today. He is a star of global distance running. He is an A-list star of the sport and at 21 years old, he has accomplished so much in his young career. He is pulling out that advantage every step of the way it's about 40 50 meters now over Aris Kaya Jimmy Gressier has actually responded well for a second and may end up in the battle for silver but as he rounds the last turn into the home straight for the final time it's a good time to reflect on the career of Jakob Ingebrigtsen back in 2016 he announced his talents to the world when showing up at the European cross-country championships under 20 race he won four consecutive races at that at the age of 17, he won two European outdoor titles on the track. He's won three European indoor titles. The youngest sub four miler in history. The Olympic champion at 1500 meters. A 328, 1500 meter man. Norway's Jakob Ingebrigtsen at the age of 21. A title he'd never won as the European cross country championship. But today in Dublin, Jakob Ingebrigtsen has come of age with his first ever title at the European cross country championships. King Gebrigtsen in Dublin. It is Aris Kaya as well who's hung on for a second. A brilliant performance from him. He 
ran so strongly through the opening laps. He made it an honest test, a stout defense of his title. Well done to Aris Kaya in second. And Jimmy Gressier fought so hard to contend up front. Not gold or silver, but it's a bronze medal and a brilliant bronze it is for Jimmy Gressier. And we see the Irish athletes, Brian Fay, they're almost getting into the top ten in the battle with Isaac Camilli. Comes across in tenth place. What a run by him. Carlos Maya comes across there in eleventh for Spain, but Hannah, I'm not even sure if Jakob is out of breath. <laughs>